Are you guys interested in building a simple AM transmitter using one capacitor, one diode, and one inductor? Stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to do so. So the simplistic design here uses a Bluetooth receiver and again that yellow lead you see is the uh, antenna itself, about three feet of wire, close proximity to the uh, receiver itself. And the beauty about the uh, design, it does not limit you using the uh, transistor radio as designed as you can see here, able to um, utilize it as a receiver and transmitter. You can download a copy of the schematic. Just go to the show more or description of the video for a link there to the Google Drive. You'll see my uh, Bluetooth input there. I'm coupling the uh, left and right channels together. We're going through uh, C1, a, a blocking capacitor there. Back over to uh, D1, the 1N34A. That's where we're actually modulating the uh, RF carrier there. And you can see it's tied back in to uh, I1, and also that's the connection point for a, a two to three feet piece of wire to place in uh, close proximity to another receiver. I1 is the only physical connection point to the uh, transistor radio to the ground location, and you can see that couples back to the uh, input connection as well for the Bluetooth. So that's how simple the uh, design is. One thing to note on I1, I'm using a uh, one millihenry choke. That seemed to uh, resonate better around 12 to 1400 kilocycles. The 470 microhenry uh, placed the uh, resonation point closer to the uh, higher end of the uh, spectrum around 1600 kilocycles. Let's take a look at the uh, transistor radio now inside. You guys can see how I made the uh, connections itself. Looking at the inside of the little transistor radio that I used here, you can see my uh, Bluetooth input here. And the uh, capacitor there, C1, is called out. This coupled back to the diode, the 1N34A. And you can see that's tied back into the lead here, the yellow lead. This going back over to the choke that I used. It's a 1 8 watt. Again, called out as 1 millihenry. You can see I'm hijacking the oscillator. I tried a direct connect, and of course that kills the LO, even with like a 3 picofarad capacitor attached. So I'm actually using the uh, choke here to pick up the uh, local oscillator. So it's mounted at the uh, location here on the uh, tuning condenser or tuning capacitor that gives me the highest amount of amplitude looking at my scope, as you can see here in the picture in picture. And I just used a little uh, super glue and uh, attached it there. And then the uh, ground lead here, you can see routes back over to a uh, common ground location here and an electrolytic um, capacitor. So it's that simple of a uh, circuit itself. Again, the uh, diode itself allows me to uh, modulate the uh, carrier. So it's not a uh, perfect modulation scheme, but it's uh, practical and useful and the uh, antenna output here on the uh, two millimeter uh, banana female plug and stuff that I used. I've got about two or three feet of uh, wire in close proximity to the uh, loop antenna of the receiver itself. Now what I love about the design, other than having the uh, one connection point here to ground, that's the only uh, connection point to the actual circuit itself since we're actually uh, picking up the local oscillator through induction. So that makes it pretty cool. And again, I did drill a couple holes here in the case. It's that simple though, and uh, it works uh, very effectively here. 
by uh, hijacking the uh, unmodulated local oscillator. And the beauty and the advantage of this, of course, I can continue to uh, use the uh, AM receiver, as you saw, as a normal receiver by just unplugging the uh, Bluetooth connection. So I've still got the uh, AM transistor radio, and then I can use it as a transmitter as well. The schematic itself is available for download on my uh, Google Drive. You guys uh, have fun. Give this a, a try. See how well it works out for you. Thanks again for watching, folks. Everyone take care and stay well.